welcome back to my channel. My name is Cameron. If you have never been here before, this is my second video that I come on here looking like a crackhead, but what's new? Well, today I'm going to be doing my curly hair routine. I am going to wash my hair today. Last night I deep conditioned it. I still have a deep conditioner in. It's just kind of dried a little bit. It is this thing. This is amazing. Normally I do not wash my hair at night, but because um, if you had watched my previous video, which was my um, vlog, like my day in the life. If you watched that, then you would have seen that I had a wig on. This is the day after. So I had a wig on that day and my hair was like kicked down, lots of crap in it. I'm gonna ready to wash it now. I washed my hair with the, what should we call it? The Shea Moisture Curl and Shine Conditioner. I love this stuff. And then obviously I did conditioned with this and then I always leave a little bit of this in my hair kind of like a deep conditioner don't forget to subscribe uh, also make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and to follow all my social media it will be in the description box as well at the end of this video so we're gonna get started this is my hair like straight out of the shower so I use a lot of products you can obviously accommodate this to whatever you know works for your hair but this is what I have kind of just put together and realized really works for my hair. I need a whole lot of moisture because I don't put a whole lot of moisture into my um, hair. I just can't diffuse it and I am so over air drying my hair lately. And also it lasts much longer. I have a lot of people that always come for me because they're like, why do you put so much products in your hair? That's why. So we're gonna start off. Got to be curling mousse. Curly Hansen Smoothie. Mark Anthony Strictly Curls Curly Cream. This is like a for sure you gotta have that. Miss Jessie's Jelly Soft Curls that Arlo has destroyed. Fruity Strengthening Hair One Minute Hair Mask Banana Extract. The Miss Jessie's Multicultural Curls. The Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Leave-In Conditioner. That's what definitely helped with like repairing my hair from damage and stuff. Shea Moisture Curl Stretch Pudding. And last but not least, this is kind of optional, I don't use it all the time, but sometimes when I just feel like my curls are not like soft enough or like clumping together enough. This is the Diva Curl Believe-In. My armpits are so hairy, so I'm gonna shave them real quick before we start this. All right, so the first product that I start off with obviously is leave-in conditioner. Um, I always do the banana extract first. I wet my hair a lot through the whole process which is probably why I have to use way more product than everybody else, but this is just how I do my hair, you guys. This is what I have found to work. So if you don't like it, you don't have to do it. This is just how I do it, okay? I can kind of already tell this might not be the best hair day. My hair has been acting really weird because of the weather changes. Once I put that in, I dilute it a little bit with some water. Yes, I make a mess in my bathroom when I'm doing my hair. I follow through with the Jamaican black castor oil leave-in conditioner. This is really, really good if you have damaged hair and you are trying to repair it. When my hair was super damaged, um, if you haven't seen my L'Oreal disaster, hair color disaster video, um, this definitely is what helped me after I damaged my hair. So if you haven't seen that, you should most likely check it out so you know what I'm talking about. Next uh the curl enhancing smoothie. I do religiously follow this order, you guys, so just an FYI. I use a curl enhancing smoothie. Um, I do not suggest using the curl enhancing smoothie when there's a lot of humidity in your area because the curl enhancing smoothie has glycerin in it, and glycerin is meant to attract and retain moisture, which means that it's perfect for the winter because obviously it's going to attract and retain the moisture that you put into your hair. But obviously if it's very humid at that time, it's literally going to be like a mop and suck up all the moisture in the air. Comment down below if you ever have this issue with your hair. Like I swear it starts to act up the minute right when you have to do something important or you have to go somewhere or do something. Okay, I dilute it once again. Up next, this is literally why I use so many products. This is a long, Long routine, but my washes last like five, six days, so that's why I don't complain. Um, up next, I have the curl stretch putty. This is very, very thick. It is like literally, it's like a souffle, as you could tell. And I have noticed a lot of difference in my shrinkage with this product. I also like to flip my hair over and style it like this because obviously, as I don't part my hair, 
There tend to be some areas of my hair that don't get a lot of the product. When you do this, you always want to dilute with cold water. Literally, look at the difference already. My hands are slipping through so much easier. We are going in next with the Multicultural Curls. This one, this has really good slip in it. But it is more on the expensive side, but it's really worth it. Next product. This is the Holy Grail product, Mark Anthony Strictly Curl Cream. If you do not get anything out of this tutorial, get this product. This is the one product that you need. This thing has like extreme, extreme slip, and it is so moisturizing for your hair. I have actually found that I have to apply it after I apply all of my thick creams, because it really is like a sealant, kind of. You're wasting it so much product. Trust me, it hurts me too. I am going to apply in the Got To Be Kinkier Curling Mousse. I have never used mousse before this, and I was like, I hated mousse. I was like, do not use mousse. I used to tell everybody, like, don't use mousse. I Got To Be made me eat my words. Um, I use the Believe In, which definitely helps with volume and just upgrading your curls a little bit more. This product is so expensive. That's why I really don't like to. It's like $24, $25 for just this product. That's why I don't normally use it. I only use this when I'm like, I don't want to touch my hair for the next couple days. So this wash and go better be bomb. This one, I actually do not rinse out because it is that expensive. I leave this in. That is the end of my rinsing out. Take your Miss Jessie soft curls. Take about a dollop of it. Squish it up. I like to heat it up a lot because this is a very, very thick product. So really, really heat it up. Then comb it through. So just because I like, like I said, I like for my wash and goes to last a very long time and the front of my hair does not stay um, very curly for very long. It'll start to get very frizzy. What I use to resolve this is a Denman brush. I take just the top of my hair because if I do my whole head, um, my shrinkage will be out of this world. Just kind of separate it, but I just use whatever I can grab at the moment that will separate. So I take this top layer right here and I run the Denman brush through. And then I take these pieces and I start to finger twist them. As well, I take these little like bottom sections and I kind of curl them a little bit too, but just to kind of balance it out. And then here's the key trick. I put water, you know, water's my BFF, to kind of blend it in with the rest of the hair. You can see a difference in my volume and like obviously my top curls as opposed to this side. So that's why I do that, because it curls better, it does better. But I do let my hair sit and kind of absorb the moisture and stuff for a good like 30, 40 minutes before I diffuse it. Okay, so I have finished doing both sides. As you can tell, it looks very curly. It actually ended up being pretty good. I'm gonna do my makeup real quick, and then once this is set for a little bit and I have diffused it, I will show you guys how it turned out. I finished drying my hair. Um, it is completely, not completely dry, but like about 90% dry. Yeah, that is it for my curly hair routine. This will generally last me around five to six days. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe if you have not subscribed already. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A lot of people ask me for this video all the time. My hair has obviously gotten much, much, much longer since my last one. And this is also my method with like definitely helping with shrinkage. As you can tell, now my curls are like on my shoulders. Also follow all my social media, social, social media. <laughs> Oh my god. Also follow all of my social media. It will be down in the description box below. All the products that I used will be in the description box as well. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys.